Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I know it looks a little different. I am going to jump right into it. So, I'm standing up in my bathroom. I film in my bathroom. A majority, like all of my makeup is in my bathroom. I really, really need to do a declutter of my eyeshadow palettes and like face palettes. Just palettes in general. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to film it. So, you're going to see all my ba my bathroom, all of my stuff, where I store it. I am just a normal girl who does mediocre makeup at best. Like, seriously. I have on, like, literally, I have on no lip stuff. And I can, like, feel it. Ah! This is hard to hold a camera with one hand. Okay, anyway, like I said, I'm mediocre at best. If you want professional, go watch Robert Welsh. If you want flashy and show-offy, go watch, like, Laura Lee and Tati and Manny and all them. I am just a normal girl who loves makeup and films it in my bathroom. Because I have no one else in my life really to share it with except for like my six year old daughter and my 14 year old niece who is a tomboy and not really that into makeup. My daughter, she's sick. She loves to play with makeup. But like, I just want, I don't have anyone I can like, oh my gosh, look at this new palette, oh my god. My husband is like real sucker. He'll be like, oh my god. So, I started filming it, but yeah. So you're about to see my smorgasbord, 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 my shit ton of shit that I just have all randomly. So if you are a neat and tidy person and this will be triggering for you, I'm sorry, but I have some drawers coming soon, so it'll be a little bit more organized soon, but anyway, let's. Let's do it. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is supposed to be my husband's side, but as you can see, my shit kind of traveled over here. My cuticle oil. This is my nighttime moisturizer. This is from Walmart, that new Clean Beauty brand, but it's also like Clean Beauty. This, I got an Ipsy. It's like a hyaluronic acid serum, kind of, but... I don't know, but I love it. I use that at night. I use this in the morning. I also got this in Ipsy. My Fourth Ray Beauty Toner, my Primerizer. I use this Makeup Revolution foundation stick to carve out my eyebrows because I don't like it for the face. Have The Ordinary, some lash glue. This I got in Ipsy. I use this in the mornings. Some lip mask. The ColourPop Hyaluronic Acid Serum, some Tola Eye Cream. I use this as my morning moisturizer. Some Physicians Formula Bright Booster, cleansing oil, some lips, my Sophia and ColourPop, little eye massager, my Ofra eye primer, some masks, some primers, some moisturizers, some serums. This shit is so good. I love it. Some oils. This is all my eyebrow pencils, gels, and brushes. All my eyeliners. Majority of ColourPop. These are my highlight brushes and stuff. Like random. My Most of my eye brushes. This is like random brushes powder and bronzer brushes oh, I forgot I had that my foundation concealer and blending brushes blush brushes my sponges the food I just ate and right here are my like everyday mascaras and lip liners what I use every day um, an eyeshadow these are like my eyebrow gels and stuff I use every day and some bobby pins. This is what I used today. Some 
Elf, Wet n Wild, ColourPop, and Maybelline. I have on very natural, natural makeup. And if we go right here, this is my favorite lip oil in the world. But like just some random crap, some lip scrubs, perfumes, Q-tips, my e.l.f. eye tapes, makeup wipes. These are the best makeup wipes in the world and they're 98 cents. Like if you cannot use makeup wipes, you don't, but those are really good. My roller, my husband's razor, some my reusable cotton pads, some razors, a nose hair trimmer. Oh, and the mini native deodorant that I don't like the smell of. I just got a three pack of um, native deodorants for seven bucks. That one is my favorite and that one smells really good. I'm going to put that one in a giveaway because I just don't like it. And in the next drawer. Okay, so I just took this is empty because I just took some of these out of there to go through for the declutter. But I have my eyebrow powder, some very natural highlights, and then a very blingy one. My little ColourPop palette. Back there is some more mascaras that I probably need to go through. This is like my little random drawer. This is my miniature powders. I have the Cover of X, Laura Mercier, Fenty, and this, like, I like it so much, but I really don't want to keep it. If it wasn't in my possession, I'd be fine. I don't really like this either. And then these are my primers that I use every day. This is brand new. I just used it for the first time today, and I really don't like it. But these are my concealers that I love and use every day. I haven't tried this one yet. But, and these are my blushes and highlights that I use every day. My bronzers and powders that I use every day. And then right here we have like cream products. And like, yeah, just like cream products. And liquid eyeshadow like creamy products lips things that i like to use every day this is what i fan myself with and right here i have a lot of the face stuff that i like to use or want to test again and here's some setting powders a highlight a couple highlights i love this elf halo glow i just did and back here we have some single shadows and pigments and then some setting sprays. And then in this drawer, some old sponges I probably need to get rid of, some brush cleaners, some skincare, some more skincare, hair care, backups, masks. Something for a video. And under my side of the sink, we have some pads. My tanning stuff is under here. Like my Saint Tropez and stuff. My Goop Glow. I was sent this by Octoly for review. And I am freaking obsessed. My nail bag, some perfumes, curlers, hair crap. And then there's my toilet. That's some travel shit and hairbrushes. So over here, this is a free gift from Ulta that I got with an order. These are some brushes. These are like my skincare brushes that I use to put in my primer and stuff. I want to clean them though and use them for makeup. These are brushes I think I'm going to get rid of. Some drawings from my daughter. Um, these are some things I need to put away and get rid of. I have the Controversy palette. Probably need to leave that out. So part of the palettes we're going to be going through are in this drawer. 
And then in this drawer, I have like random things that I do like, but I just need those drawers to come. And then in here, I have some backups and then some new things. This is the Believe Beauty skin tint. I still need to try that. Then over here, so this is like a little three cabinet thing where my towels and stuff are up there. But in here, so we have our medicines and stuff. This is like my random thing and some stuff for giveaways. Back here, back here is where I keep my empties. This is my hair stuff and nail stuff. These are all lashes. My face masks. These are single. You can't see that. These are like single eye things. And I don't know why a backup is in there. But yeah. I need to throw away the Stila box. And then this is most of my foundations in here. Oh. And there's some setting powders. Now down here. Okay. So this is Violet's play makeup bag. A bunch of makeup that I just gave her to play with. This is my Anastasia single highlight that I shattered that I love. And here is a, my basket of palettes. There's some primers and setting sprays. This I got from Forever 21. Yeah. My Claudeal. Back here is where I keep the bad shit that I don't like. This is some stuff for giveaways and stuff. Down here, I have a lot of my lip products, setting powders. That is highlights and concealers. And this is blush and bronzers. Sorry, the sun is shining through. I need to go through everything. But I really, really want to go through the palettes today. So that is what we're going to do. Uh, and you want to see my, my shower. So, what skincare I use? Yeah, my husband likes to sit down while he showers. I promise he's not 90 years old. <laughs> he just likes to sit down. So, this one's empty, but I still need to cut the top off and get as much as I can out. This is a brand new one. My Dr. Jart. My Skin Coroma. I love um, exfoliants. This is the 4th Ray BFD, my Glam Glow I'm almost out of, my Skin Fix, my CeraVe Hydrating. This, I'm throwing in the trash. I don't know why it's still in here. It's horrible for your skin. This is the shampoo and conditioner that I use now. I used to use that one. My razor. This is the body wash that I use, and I freaking love it. But once, there's all my laundry because I need to do laundry. Once I run out of the Glam Glow, I will be using this one from Clean Beauty. It's a rosehip jelly. I did use it once and I love it. So, I gotta add those palettes to the ones we're decluttering. And yeah, so I, <coughs> I have to go pick up my kids from school. And then we are going to get into the decluttering portion. Okay. okay. I literally just filmed a whole intro and explaining everything and doing everything. Then I remembered there's already a first part to this. It is the next day. This is the declutter part one of eyeshadow palettes because I have a shit ton. And like I mentioned, I literally just got rid of like probably 15 to 17 eyeshadow palettes and a couple face palettes. I recently got some. I have some coming in and I just need to go through and get rid of... I'm going to push the camera back. 
some. There we go. Okay. I just got rid of some, so I need to get rid of some more because I have more coming in. Anyway, I'm not going to waste time literally doing an intro when there is a first part of this video, but I'm not used to making like videos like this. I never thought I really would make a video like this, but it's time to get rid of some shit. I have the mindset of, I'm a collector, I love having the cute package shit and to say, oh I have it, like, we'll see the Betty Boop shit from Ipsy in here soon. It's like, I really want to keep that because it has Betty Boop on it and it's like a memory, like, you know, but I'm trying to get out of the mindset of, I just want to keep it just to say I have it because that's how we become hoarders. And I'm already a makeup hoarder, so. Okay. So, I brought out my basket of palettes. And then I have a drawer over here. Let me start with these real quick. So, I got a free 10-piece set with this little makeup bag from Ulta for ordering something from Ulta. And there are two palettes so over here I'm going to do my giveaway pile over here over here I'm going to do my keep pile and then like right here to the side I'm going to do my um like maybe pile like I don't know I need some time to think about it I can't just do it on the spot but these are the two little palettes that came in that Ulta bag one's called the bloom palette it's just some nice neutrals and like the shimmers in this and I'll do the mattes too a couple of them like they're just nice and soft like look at that and pretty and I haven't got to use it yet so I really want to use it so I am going to keep that and stick that right here because it's so little and then this is the blush palette it has a bronzer and a blush with really pretty gold shimmer in it but like look how pretty those are and that bronzer is the perfect tone for me and these are cute little travel things I'm actually going to put these back in the Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Well, then you must not want it that bad. Anyway. Okay. So, let's start. I, like I said, I put a bunch of the new ones right on top. So, that's going to be easy. This is the ColourPop. You're a cutie palette, and yes, I'm popping a bubble wrap like a four-year-old because it's fun. So, this is the You're a Cutie palette. I am keeping this. Let me know if you want a video with it. Pause, please. Okay, and I forgot to mention, so... Like, some of the palettes are going to be pretty dang similar, so I will take a look at those closely and see which one I would rather keep, like, which one is probably better for me or that I'm okay parting with. So, okay, let's continue. This is the Wet n Wild Not a Basic Peach. I literally just bought this yesterday because I walked past it at work every time I'm at work when I'm just grocery shopping and I'm always like I want that palette and it's only like four fifty five bucks but I never actually got it so I was like you know what fuck it I want it I'm getting it I've heard they're good and it's like when I walk by it these two together that peach and that blue that's what called to me and plus all the other shades are shades I love so this is brand new keeping them the Mini Controversy palette. So I've only like barely used this. Like I've done two, maybe three playing around looks with it. 
I don't know yet. I did win this in a giveaway with Crystal K Beauty. If you don't watch her, you need to go watch her, like, right now. She is amazing. Like, stop watching my boring-ass video and go watch her. She is amazing. I love her so much. Like, we're the same age, pretty much, but I aspire to be her. Like, she's amazing. I'm pretty much, like, girl-obsessed with her. Not in a creepy way, though. Maybe a little bit. But I love her. This is gonna go in my, um, maybe pile maybe and here's the daddy to it see she signed it for me i asked her if she'd sign it for me and she did i won this in a giveaway like i said i will definitely be keeping this and i'm okay with this being something i'm keeping i did do a video on these i did not use the little one in that but i'll try to link it above this is one of those that i'm keeping just because but I also love most of the shades in here, and it's a it's a good palette. And it's the only thing I have from Jeffree Star. That might be a reason I keep the little one. It's the only Jeffree Star makeup I own. But I'm keeping that. My Juvia's Place palette. I just got this. I'm keeping that. My Blush Crush from ColourPop. I'm keeping that my lovecraft beauty blush palette i just got this in ipsy and i'm keeping that this is my little physician's formula muru muru butter glow face palette limited edition these are still for sale and this is the one that has the butter bronzer just the normal one a peachy beachy peach blush and a tropical sands limited edition ex exclusive shade for this palette and I will never get rid of this that highlight is absolutely stunning it's like a champagne gold highlight beautiful love it perfect for traveling let's see let me grab these three so these are my little elf bite size eyeshadow palettes I have cream and sugar acai you and rose water and i love these that looks green it's not it's bronze i love these so i'm definitely keeping these okay this butter london palette i have been holding on to this i got this in boxy charm i have been holding on to this simply for the fact fact that I absolutely love the packaging it's nice and slim and like the pigmentation is really good the main reason I've been holding on to this like the shimmers in it suck but like I said the main reason is for that dark brown it was just a really really good dark brown to have for my lower lash line not lower lash line but my top lash line right on the edge because i really like to darken that it makes my eyes look like nicer i think i'm gonna i love the packaging though the shimmers in it like the only good shimmer is diva like that is beautiful but it's literally the only good one i'm pretty sure i'm gonna put this in the maybe pile sigma beauty free shipping and site-wide saving okay my storybook cosmetics robin hood palette which does have a lot of controversy with it apparently these are chinese made boxycharm shadows i don't i don't believe that i think they just instead of making these in the usa because it was way too expensive for boxycharm they made it over in china but i know a lot of people had a lot of trouble with the um what was it little red riding hood palette but 
this palette, this palette, I am obsessed with. I absolutely love it so much. I probably should have grabbed an actual makeup wipe and not baby wipes, but I love that palette, so I am keeping that. These are my little Too Faced Snow Girl. This one has the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and Angel Wings highlight, and I love this highlight. It is a beautiful, like, skin tone, beautiful highlight. And this is the blush palette, and I love this because, first of all, this shade, Snow Kissed, is so light, so beautiful. But then you have some bright-ass deep colors, some shimmery, some peachy. And I just like having all these options, even though I'm sure I have them in somewhere else. But these are really good traveling, and they're cute, and I just got them not too long at the holidays. So I, I want to keep them. Okay, so... This is my Cheek Leaders Mini Bronze Squad. It has Gold Rush Blush, Cookie Highlight, and Hula Bronzer. I did just purchase the one from Morphe and Benefit. It'll be here like Tuesday or Wednesday. And it has the new shades in it. I, let me look. I don't think it has... Um, I was going to get rid of this because I knew that one was coming in, but Gold Rush is my favorite, favorite blush of all time, and I don't think that that one is in there, so Morphe and Benefit palette, yeah. We have Dallas, Sugar Bomb, Cookie, Georgia, and Hula. So there's Dallas and Georgia. So all the shades from this are in here, except for Gold Rush. Oh, I just love that blush so much. I'm going, if I can depot Gold Rush, then I will. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't look at me. If I can de- <laughs> Can you shut the door for me? Junior! I love Gold Rush so much. If I can depot it, which it looks like it's the only one in a plastic pan. The other two are in metal pans. That's weird. Okay, if I can depot it like I've just said a million bajillion times, then I will. So I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. Okay, so I'm going to do these two together. This is the Itessi like $70 quad magnetic palette and like the shades in here I feel like Jessica Braun would absolutely love these shades because they're just nice and simple and quick and like natural but I want to see if my things from ColourPop can fit in there. I have the Here Kitty Kitty highlight. Oh, they do. I have the Spectacle bronzer and a Ofra blush in Chameleon. No. Yeah, I think this is Ofra and Chameleon. There's no... Ah! There's no name on the back, but I kind of just want to get rid of this palette. Okay, I am going to keep the matte gray and the matte white, but I don't want the green, the cat like dark khaki green 
shimmer and the like taupey roll rose gold shimmer so i'm gonna stick those in the color pop palette and i'm gonna give those to a friend but now i have this and it's a lot slimmer it has a mirror i am gonna keep that for now i have my wet and wild eyeshadow palette in earth which is my sign i'm a taurus and these are really really nice like they are so pigmented Since I just got that other Wet n Wild palette, I am going to get rid of this one. I got to stop being sentimental. Okay, this is my Juvia's Place, the Zulu palette. So is the plastic in it. I have used this a few times. Never on camera though. Has some nice neutral shades in it and then bright as pops of color. And this is a really really good palette i love it so i'm gonna keep it okay this one's gonna be hard my tartiest volume three contour palette so the numbers four and five the bronze they are beautiful i love them the blush i absolutely love the highlights are very powdery and very glittery but Wait, see how powdery that is? They smell so, smell so good. And then that matte contour shade, that shit is dark. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of that one as much as I don't want to. Maybe. This is my Morphe... 15s social butterfly palette i did do a video on this i absolutely hate this palette like look at how bad those look Like, they look okay because my fingers are a little bit wet and so is my skin. But they... I hate this palette so much. I really, really hate this palette. Nice mirror. The only shades I like are these top four. That's it. Or top three. I am. I'm going to get rid of this. It's the only Morphe eyeshadows I have, but I'm getting rid of it. This is my Violet Voss Fruit Sorbet. This was an Ipsy add-on, I think. Or points. Something. I know I got it for super cheap, and I actually really like it. I've played with it a few times. I'm going to keep that. This is my Violet Voss Essentials palette. And I absolutely love this. I took this with me to the beach when I went traveling as my only eyeshadows. And I love it. Okay, this is the Tarte. What was this called? It came in a set with this, a lip gloss, an eyeliner, and something else. I can't remember. And it was like their Paradise in Something set. It has the flamingos on it. I got this for every day. Paradise is a state of mind. Has a nice huge mirror. And like the shades in it are shades I freaking love. But the formula is absolute shit. patchy they barely show up 
Like this is something I would literally keep just for the packaging. And I'm trying not to do that, but it's hard, especially when I spent my money on it. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is hard. This is gonna be a long video. Okay, this is the Take Me Back to Brazil. I remember when this people were talking about this all over. Wait until you see mine. Because I actually ended up realizing I did not like it as much as the hype was. So this is my daughter's play palette. She has drawn all over the mirror. She has mixed all the shades. So this is what my daughter plays with. So that is hers. The steep or Wander Beauty Wondrous Escape. This is the Seas Seascape palette. It has a mirror. There is another version of this that's like pinky. I, I know there's a lot of mixed things on this palette, but I actually really, really like it. I love Wander Beauty so much. Like, look at that. There's no denying that's beautiful. They're just nice and soft and pretty and, like, beachy and, like, I'll take that traveling. The sparkle in it is beautiful. I love this little palette. I'm keeping it. Like, as you can see, I saved the boxes to a lot of things. This, like, if the box was different, if the box is different than the packaging, then I save it. If it's the same, then I will get rid of it. This is going nowhere. I need to use it again. I love this palette. Has a mirror. I absolutely love this palette so much. The Aren't You Glad palette from ColourPop. I am going to keep this just so I have those oranges if I need it. I have the peach. I'm actually going to compare it to the peach one and see. So this is the NYX. Sugar Trip Squad Shadow Palette. There's a lot of pressed pigments in here. I saw Thomas Halbert um, review this and it made me want it. It's not like blow your mind. Look at that purple. I mean, it's, it's pretty. Like I said, it's not like blow your mind quality, but it's nice and I like it and I haven't used it that much. I did use it on camera. I'm going to keep that for now. Dream Street by ColourPop. Not going anywhere. This was my very first ColourPop palette I ever purchased. We're getting there, guys. Okay, this is the Ipsy times Nomad or Ipsy ex Special Edition Ipsy Berlin Underground palette. And it's a really, has a mirror, it's a really, really good palette. Like, the pigmentation is there. It has some cool colors, but... That bronze is beautiful. This one. Like, look at that. It's a really nice palette. And just because it's an Ipsy exclusive, like, I want to keep it, but I'm not going to. I'm sure there are people out there that would much get much more enjoyment out of it. Like, I like it. But, I just need to start 
getting rid of some shit. Okay. Okay, so this is the Huda Beauty Coral Obsessions. And as you can see, I think I tried to depot it. I'm not sure what happened, but you can see the metal is like bent into there and it's all jacked up. I'm not the biggest fan of this. I actually got rid of, I had two of the Mauve Obsessions palettes and I got rid of both of them in that haul or in that like declutter I did not on camera a few months ago. And I just, I want to get her new palette, the Nude Light little quad like this. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get rid of this one. And this is from Wish. It's supposed to be like a knockoff of her gem palette. This is called Simadu Cosmet Cosmetics. And... This is actually a really nice palette. I would hate to know what's in the ingredients, but like, it's a pretty good palette. It's not horrible like some of the higher end ones, but I have the Orangey Glad palette, so I am going to get rid of that too. This is the After Hours palette palette by Bad Habit. These are a dupe brand and these are also a dupe of the Huda Mommy. Beauty palettes. This is like Put a dupe on. of Put the... On. Hold on in a minute. Don't break it bud. I play it on. Here put it in here. And me play it. Where'd you find this? Play oh this isn't even that game. This is Wii Sports. We'll ask Ella where this game is. Wii Sports? Yeah. We want to play party games. Okay. In a minute, I'll cut the Wii on. This is like a dupe of the Mob Obsessions. I haven't even used this on my eyes, but I have used another version of this on my eyes. It still has the plastic on the mirror. I think I am going to give this a try, but this is the After Hours by Bad Habit. And Bad Habit actually has some really, really, look at those shimmers. Ooh. They're so buttery. And like soft. Okay, I am going to keep that one for now. Colored Rain Beauty Rust. So this is the Beauty Rust palette by Colored Rain. I am going, to, this shimmer in here is absolutely beautiful. But I am going to go ahead and get rid of that Mommy, one. They go to that game. Let's go to the playroom. Okay, okay, put it in the playroom. Don't mess with anything. Because if you break it, I'm not buying a new one. This is the Ace Beauté Grand Oise palette. Got this in November of 2018 from BoxyCharm. And this is an amazing palette. It is so good. Like, look at that. Oh my god. Look at that. So good. Oh, I love touching eyeshadow. I hate getting rid of it, but it needs to happen. Oh my gosh, my arm is going to be stained.
should have got a makeup wipe. This video is going to be so long. I am keeping that. Okay. This is the Bad Habit Athena palette, which this is supposed to be a dupe of the, I think, Desert Dusk palette. I'm pretty sure. As you can see, it's pretty beat up. This one from them is not the best quality. At least to me, it's not. Like, it looks like it. I accidentally mix a shadow because my arm is wet, but I am gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. I just don't need it. This is from that, um, what was that website that shut down? Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Like, everyone used it. Like, they had really cheap makeup on there. It was kind of like Shop Miss A, but different. It had all the bad habit. I can't remember. Oh. This is from eBay. This is the Textured Shadows Palette Rose Gold Edition. This is supposed to be a Huda Beauty Textured Neutrals Rose, or Textured Rose Gold Palette. Like, it's supposed to be, but wait till you see this. <laughs> Online, it really did look like hers. Like, it didn't look like this, but. This, like, the only good shade in here is, like, a shimmer. I have not used this on my eyes, I don't think. I think I got scared to because of what could be in it. It smells normal. But it even has like most of the same names. Dubai, hashtag blessed, man eater, sandalwood, moon dust, black truffle. I am going to get rid of that one. This is my little ColourPop magnetic palette. It has a blush from Makeup Geek and Romance. I love that blush. A blush from Makeup Geek and Spellbound. This blush is beautiful. I need to use these more. It has Rodeo Dry Bronzer. I'm going to get rid of that. And then it has a Anastasia Eyeshadow in Real Gar. I'm going to get rid of this too. I got that from TJ Maxx. I'm going to stick these in that little ColourPop palette. I wonder if I can put my ColourPop shades in the ColourPop palette. Yeah, okay, so now I have my blushes and a couple I actually stopped recording because it stops recording after like 28 minutes. Okay, and the next one I have is the Stila Perfect Me Perfect Hue palette. It has a base shade, four eyeshadows, and two blushes. So a base shade which is the bigger shade, a highlight, which is the lightest shade, a crease shade, which is the medium brown, a lid shade is the shimmery brown, and a liner is the darkest brown. And I like this because it has, like, everything you need in there. And, like, the blushes are beautiful. It's a pale pink and a mauvey pink. I actually really like this. The shadows, not so much. Like, they're okay, but this, when I see this, I think of Jessica Braun. This is like her palette right here. I got this for like 10 bucks because Steeler is having free shipping and like 30% off. 
So I paid like nine or ten bucks for it. I think I'm going to get rid of it. That's going to go in the maybe pile. Okay, this one. I went to a makeup bazaar that they were having in my town at the time. And I was like, oh my god, this is going to be so awesome. It's like the ones you hear about in Hollywood and shit in California that all the people online are going to. It's a huge makeup thing. No. No. That's not what it was. No. It was downtown in a scary park in a parking garage. And, like, it was the same makeup that you find on Wish and, like, Alibaba and AliExpress and, like, all those sites and eBay. And this was the Cara Beauty, the Desire 15, and Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, that's literally what it's called. An Eyeshadow Palette. <laughs> ES33. And they're kind of, like... They're like putty texture. It's really weird. Like, really weird. Even the mats are like putty texture. The like three mats that are in here. I'll show you the, um. The palette. There is a mirror in here. And you can even see in this one. Like, see the indentions? This is the absolute worst palette I have ever had in my life. And that's what I was saving it for, was a worst palette video. And I have a couple other ones, so I'm actually going to put this with those ones. And who done? I had an email I had to answer. So, so far, I have like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten in the give pile. Five in the maybe pile. And like 20, 30 in the keep pile. <laughs> okay, the next one is from Handion. Handion Blue Ocean is the name of the palette. And story behind this is I did get this off of eBay because... I wanted to test it. I don't remember why I got this. Here's the packaging. Why did I get this? I just really like the colors of it and I thought it was supposed to be like a dupe of something. I'm not sure. One of the shades shattered but I was able to push it back in and they did refund me for the palette because you know those Chinese like vendors they'll refund you instantly just so you keep doing business with them but it's whatever. Um, Does anyone else just find brushes or pick up brushes and rub them on them? The feeling of a brush on my face just feels so good. Um, but then later on, like months and months later, I've had this for over a year and I never used it. Months and months later, I was looking on YouTube for a tutorial on a palette that I have that I just wanted some inspiration from. And it took me to, like, a foreign YouTuber that I couldn't understand her because it was a different country. And she went, not her, but because I'm in a different country, like, YouTube area, it recommended other ones. And one of the screen, what's the name of it? Thumbnails was of a girl going to use this palette. So I clicked on it, and this is actually a palette in another country. So it's like a real brand and stuff. So it's the, it smells like perfume. Handyan Blue Ocean 12 color eyeshadow palette. So there's the one that shattered. I mean, it actually looks really pretty. And like, it doesn't swatch necessarily horrible. It smells so baby powdery. I actually think I am going to get rid of this. Even though 
I have never used it. I just don't see myself using it, but yeah. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Okay, the next one is actually my MAC Magnetic Palette. I got off a of Glambot. And like, not a lot of things actually stick to it. It's not very magnetic, but magnets stick to it. Ah, that was actually glued on. So this is my Stila Illuminating Powder Foundation Refill in 30 watts. I got this from um, TJ Maxx. It's just a... And it's actually in my shade. I haven't even used it yet, but I want to. So I am actually going to put this in my Atessi eyeshadow palette. Oh no. I'm going to get rid of this um, Ofra blush and chameleon okay so now I have that in there and I don't know I, I think I'm gonna get rid of this MAC magnetic palette because it's like nothing even like sticks in there it's really weird like okay so this Rodeo Drive Bronzer from ColourPop is magnetic into this ColourPop palette. But watch. Like, it, it does not magnet. It's so weird. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. Now the last one in this bin is actually a palette I have never used, but... I love the way it looked. So if you want to see a video with this, let me know. I'll be so happy to use it. This is the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. I did swatch a few of the shades just because I couldn't wait. Like, I went so long without touching this. There's a lot of the shades in here I never even swatched. But, like, look at how beautiful that is. I'm going to swatch some of the ones I never swatched. Look how pretty that is. You know what? Let me compare this one to the Tina Young palette. Even though that one has bronzers, blushes, and highlights, I have a lot of bronzer, blushes, and highlights. Yeah, okay, I think I'm going to get rid of the Tina Young one. I mean, the Tina one has that beautiful red and green sequin shade that if you pack it on top of a wet base, the gold glitter out of that red is so pretty. But they are just, like, super similar. These two, so pretty. I'm going to get rid of the Tina Young palette. It pains me, but I'm going to. Okay, let's move on to this drawer I have right here. Oh, oh. And then this is the last of them. that's everything okay so the first one I have is the Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions like let me show you there's one off at of UA and there's that one so that is supposed to be a dupe of the orange version of this so this is the amethyst one and I did just get this in Ipsy I am keeping this <clears throat> 
So that's why I can get rid of the Coral Obsession ones. The Physician's Formula Casey Holmes Butter Collection. Ah, I absolutely love the blush or the highlighter in here. It's so beautiful and it's kind of close to the one in the mini palette that I have. Actually, let me look. Yeah, hers is just a lot more gold than the other one. This is the Casey Holmes one, and that's the little palette one. Hers is a lot more skin tone. I am going to try to depot this highlight, and then I'm going to get rid of these. I actually did depot the shadows. And you can see they broke while I was doing it because they were so soft. I'm not the biggest fan of these. Like, they're nice, but they're not anything to write home about. The green shimmer in there is not very good. And I love the packaging so much. I want to keep it just because of her face. I think I'm going to rip off the um, her face. Or maybe I'll just hold on to it. Okay, that's a maybe. My Jeffree Star and Morphe palette. Which I have only used a few times. Still has the plastic on it. I am keeping this. I got this for Christmas with a gift card. And I am keeping it in the box because his face is on the box. So I lied. I own this. I don't consider this Jeffree Star. I consider this Morphe. But the difference between formula, between this and this is crazy. That one sucks. This one is good. Okay, let's do these ones together. So this is the Going Coconuts. Thousand percent keeping that. This is the Baby Got Peach. I'm keeping this. Let me look at the orange one again. So I got rid of Strawberry Milkshake and another one. I think I'm going to get rid of the orange one. Ah! Okay, I'm going to get rid of the orange one and keep the peach one. This CoverGirl True Blend, or CoverGirl True Naked Queen Chip. I actually am going to get rid of this. As much as I love that blue in there and that teal, like those three are so pretty. It's just not... It just doesn't blow me away, and I kind of need stuff that's going to blow me away, you know? So I am going to get rid of that one. Sweet Talk, never going anywhere. Holy Grail palette. Midnight Masquerade from ColourPop. Absolutely love this palette. This is an amazing palette. I love it so much. Alamar Blush Trio, not going anywhere, love it. Okay, Too Faced Coco Contour. I am going to get rid of this. I was so excited to have this, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. Probably shouldn't eat it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to get rid of that. This is the LA Colors Stunning Eyeshadow Palette. It was a dollar from Dollar General. And this palette is amazing. Just a perfect little neutral everyday eyeshadow palette. 
and like it has really good pigmentation like it's a good palette This is the City Mini palette with Shayla. I am going to get rid of this one. This is the Maybelline Soda Pop Grape Soda palette. I am going to get rid of this. I did get it for five bucks. The Bye Bye Birdie palette from ColourPop. Absolutely love. I kind of want to compare it to... You're a cutie, real quick. I'm not getting rid of it. I just kind of want to compare them. Those would be good companion palettes. Like, really good. Neither one of them are going anywhere anyway. I love the ColourPop cardboard packaging and the mono palettes, but the, these little cardboard ones like Sweet Talk and stuff are just so good. So I'm going to keep Bye Bye Birdie. Here is the rest of the little Too Faced Snow girl palette even though they connect at like really weird places like they all connect like right there like it's just so weird they only connect like in the middle but here is the eyeshadow palette version And it's actually really good. I know a lot of people say the Too Faced shades or holiday collections like suck, but I actually really, really like this palette. And I am keeping it. Okay. So. Almost done. Almost. This is where it gets hard. The Ofra and Madison Miller Midi Squad. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. The Midi Squad. This has two highlights and her sweet stuff blush in it. The highlights are too dark for me. And I have other Ofra highlights and blushes. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. My Cover FX Perfect perfector face palette this was a huge controversy in boxycharm because they sent a lot of people the wrong shades mine is really dirty because i actually do use it and i actually like it but as a finishing powder which is a little too pink for me uh what do i want to do I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. Here's the other Bad Habit palette. This is supposed to be a dupe of Huda's like really bright palette. This is called Aftershock. And the colors in here, it actually is a really good palette. But I am going to get rid of it. This is the Tarte and Jesse Page collab. I actually thought I saved the box to it, but I guess I didn't. Came with a little mascara for 25 bucks. And the shades in here, they're all right. Like, they're nothing to write home about. But they're all, they're all right. <laughs> what the fuck is that? You had a whole break dance on the couch, too. What the fuck is that? Uh, his song? Are you judging me? A little bit. <gasps> I'm going to hold on to this. Okay.
Okay, this is the Smith and Colt Book of Sun Chapter 2, Bloomed and the Golden Rage. I love this, but the bronzer, they're very pigmented. There's the bronzer and there's the blush. The bronzer is very red tone on me. Very red tone. Ah! I got this for with an eyeliner from them, which I don't like, for 18 bucks. Okay. I actually am going to get rid of that. This I got at Christmas too with the Jeffree Star palette. This is the makeup. This is Revolution Makeup Revolution London. This is the Forever Flawless Constellation palette. It's in their tin packaging. And it kind of reminds me of the Morphe Social Butterfly palette, but like better quality. I mean, it's not the best quality I've ever used. Well, like, most of them are okay. Like, that's... The blues in here are not very good. Like those bright blues, that one and that one, they're not very good. But the other ones are. I think I'm going to hold on to this, especially because I just got it. Okay, we're down to the last two. So, this is the Betty Boop and Ipsy Blush and Cheek Palette. So the blush in here I absolutely love. The blush topper and the highlight. Not so much. Very powdery. I think I'm going to get rid of this. Then the very last one this is from Shop Miss A. This is the Lotus 6 Color Contour Palette. So it's like a cheaper version of the Coco Contour Palette. And it does not taste like chocolate. I've never even used this. I did swatch one of the shades. I saw Taylor Wynn use this when it first came out. Like I bought it when it first came out. And I just never used it. Like, they look like really good shades for me. I think I'm going to hold on to this and actually try to use it. So as I'm going through this stuff, I am going to choose some stuff to be in my monthly project pan starting from March. I want to try to use some of it up. So I am going to pick this and what what else? And I want to try to use. Let's see. I am going to pick the Through My Eyes and Dream Street and the Alamar Blush Trio. So I'm going to keep those in this top drawer. And as for the, let's see, I am going to get rid of the Butter London palette. I am going to get rid of the Stila palette. And the Sheen Dawson, the mini controversy. Okay, I think I'm going to get rid of this one as well and keep the big one. 
The Cover FX palette. I am going to get rid of that too. I'm going to try to depot this and then I will get back to you. And I'm going to try to depot the highlighter from this. And yeah. Okay, so I'm getting rid of a lot. Okay. So that is everything that I'm keeping and that is everything that I am getting rid of. That's a lot. That is a lot. So I feel so much better about this. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this declutter series. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, if you want to see me go through like my mascaras, my foundations, I really need to go through my foundations because I'm not someone that wears a lot of foundations. And I know I got some full coverage matte foundations in there that have never even been opened. So I really need to go through those. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like subscribe hit my face if it's on the screen hit my face not this face the little circle face that actually has makeup on it and yeah i will see you in my next one